My name is Miss Grace. I'm an instructor here at Orange Easel. We're a children's art studio in downtown Liberty, Missouri, and today we're going to be painting bats. We're going to look at bats three different ways. Silhouette, from a photograph, and cartoony. Let's get started. So let's start with silhouettes. It's the easiest one. I'm going to switch to my overhead camera just for a quick demo. The first thing you need for a bat silhouette is the moon. Basically you need something to cast some sort of a light for the silhouette to happen. So moon is the obvious choice. I'm going to make wings just like I would if I was going to do a bird, except I'm going to add these extra prongs and then I'm going to connect those and fill in those connections I made. And then I'm gonna make my center of my bat is just a circle. And then I'm gonna add ears and kind of a tail situation. The tail situation isn't necessarily what a bat really looks like, but it looks very Batman logo. And so it works for this. I'm doing the same thing over here, just a small silhouette to balance it out. Ultimately, I didn't end up doing silhouettes with my class. However, Miss Sarah ended up doing bat silhouettes with her mixed media class. So here's how it went with her. So now we're going to talk about painting a bat off of a photo. I went with this photo mainly because there aren't a lot of choices when it comes to bat photos. They're nocturnal. They don't like to come out and be photographed. So I'm starting with a partial blend and I decided to sketch it in paint directly onto my background, which is not something I usually do. However, it's giving me natural shadows because it's pulling the paint from behind it. You have to do this method while the paint is still wet and moving. It won't work once it's dry. And then once it is dry, you're gonna start adding like your really bright colors to balance it and make it look like the moon is reflecting onto the bat. So ultimately, I didn't end up going with this bat for a few reasons. He's not my favorite. There's a lot of other bat paintings that look exactly like this because there aren't a lot of photos to work with. And also, bats are just not super cute in photos. So why not do it in a cartoony style where it's going to be adorable every time? So first I'm getting my palette set up. It's a pretty limited palette. I'm gonna start out by working on a partial blend background with blues and blacks and purples, splattering in some stars, and then I'm kind of making my basic shapes. I'm finding my moon. I've got kind of a seed shape as my bat and a head and ears. I make a branch for my bat to hang off of, some accent stars, and then I'm lightening up that bat and finding my grays, finding my main shapes. I'm taking a lot of time on that moon because I totally blended a little bit of the background into it, which is why it's kind of greening on me a little bit. Uh, I'm finding my fine brush and doing a lot of detail work and outlines of that bat to find where things need to be. I'm being cognizant of when dry times are. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my bat silhouettes across the sky. And there you have my bat. I will now leave you with the art of some of my students.
thanks for hanging out, friends. Remember, comment, like, subscribe, all of those things, and I'll see you next time. Laters.